Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be going over three specific issues that many people are running into after Sim Update 7. If you want to know what they are and how to fix them, then I think you should stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome to the home screen on Microsoft Flight Simulator, everyone. So the first issue we're going to talk about right now occurs right on the world map. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to the channel, love to welcome you. Highly suggest you go down below and hit that subscribe button and take that little bell, because you don't want to miss any future episodes just like this one. If this video does help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Now that we got that out of the way, now the first thing you'll notice that if we take a look at the world map and you try to pan around, well, it's not working like it used to. So let's go ahead and take care of this issue right now before we move on to the next two. Now the first thing we need to do is hit the back button and we're going to go right up here to the options menu. Now the solution for this lies right in that control panel. Now after you click on it and let this thing load up for a second, we're going to come right up here to the mouse profile. Now, what is going to be highlighted here is going to say exactly that. It's going to say mouse profile, but that's not what we want it to say. We want to go back to the default mouse profile, then go down here, hit apply, save, go back. Now if we go back to the world map. We can now pan around on that world map. Now let's take a look at the next two issues, but to do that, we're going to have to load into the sim right now. So let's just pick an airport let's hop into Miami International all right we are now loaded up into the sim so let's click the uh, ready to fly and see what happens here now when you first load into the cockpit you're gonna notice some weird things that are happening right here and we've got all the gauges on the inside of the cockpit of any plane that you've loaded into so we need to get rid of these gauges and let's show you how to do that real quick so the first thing you need to do is just hit the escape button to get back to your menu screen and then go up here to assistance options. Now, a lot of people may not have known this, but all of these user experiences and all these other assistance options are going to be changed after Sim Update 7. So you want to make sure you go in there and set all those to what you like. Now, the first setting that we're going to change here is the instrument heads up display cockpit. And we're just going to turn that in the off position. We're going to get familiar with that screen real soon because as soon as you enter back into the cockpit, you notice, great, all of my gauges are gone. But jumping outside of the cockpit, we notice all the gauges are back again. And how you used to turn these off is not the same. So let's show you how to change that real quick. So you got to hit the escape button, go back up to assistance options, and you're going to go back down into user experience. Yes. This setting is in user experience now. So it is right here above the heads up display for the cockpit. You just want to go back and turn that off. Hit apply, go back, hit resume, and now all those gauges are gone again. Hey everyone, if the video helped you out today, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell while you're at it. If you have any questions along the way, please leave those down in the comments section. And to all my flight simmers around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.